virtual mission tour in this general session takes us to Northridge, California in the San Fernando Valley. If you look behind me here, San Fernando Valley Rescue Mission. This is Wade Trimmer, the director. And what brought me here is this is not a typical women and children's center. What do you call this place? We call this a family success center. Family success center. I love that name. Tell me the philosophy behind it. Yeah, the philosophy starts with dignity. And the idea is uh, from day one, we want to we want to demonstrate that we're committed to each family success. So why not just call it what it is? And we also keep the end in mind. The end in mind for us is that we want to see everybody be successful. And so while we were standing here, a family actually moved out. In fact, if we look right over here, we can see the U-Haul getting ready to take them to their home. So this is a success point Absolutely. right here. So this happens several times a month. And at the same time, what we didn't see is another family moving in, starting their success journey. And so that just happens over and over again. And uh, you know, families are going to leave here with keys to their own apartment, leave with employment, their kids are doing well in school. So let's go and see what you're doing inside. Great. Well, now we're inside the Family Success Center. Uh, I love your decor in here. Did you decorate the place? Yes. So we, we actually had professional decorators come in, and the idea was make it feel like home. Make huh? it uh, really speak to our values of dignity, enhancing dignity, right, right. and treating others as well as we want ourselves to be treated. And I see we have a family checking in here behind us. Yeah, absolutely. So this is their first day here, and now uh, this is their new home. So in here's the dining room. Let's take a look at that. So the dining room is a uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and the idea with the dining room is, again, family style, and nobody waits in line because we don't do that at home, and uh, we do little things like put the family names at tables so that they, they know that they have a place here. That's great. Well, we're upstairs in the Family Success Center in one of the lounges, and while we're sitting here, I'd like for you to talk to me about the partnerships that you have, because I, I know they're involved here. That's what makes you successful. Talk about that. Absolutely. Now. We wanted to be a hub where we can bring in the best of the best uh, when it comes to partnerships uh, so that they can they can work with the folks that we serve. So we have everybody from Cal State Northridge, their MSW program and uh, early childhood development to local counselors who come in and provide pro bono services, tutoring organizations that come in, um, credit repair organizations. And what we're trying to do is just develop those partnerships to a point where it's a very robust program. And what we do is we provide the culture in which those partnerships can can exist. We're in one of the classrooms here at the Family Success Center, one with a fireplace, I might add. It's very nice. This is April Lind, a program manager. Tell me what you're most proud of here. Yeah, I think um, one of the biggest challenges we see the families face is that lack of a support system, whether their family isn't able or they've burned bridges. And so we emphasize the importance of building that support system, and we model it through our staff, through our volunteers, how to have healthy conflict, how to work through mm -hmm. issues in relationships, um, and then bridge them with churches and other um, institutions that kind of can help you that when they leave. Give me some examples of some of the institutions you work with. Yeah, um, it's a lot of churches that come in and do Bible studies and kids' classes and different things, um, but also therapy groups. And um, one of my favorite stories, we had a family that went through a really hard time, went through um, a, a miscarriage, unfortunately, but they had moved out about two months before, and the church that was helping them was bringing them food, was providing support, and became this family for them that they wouldn't have known them if they hadn't been here. I think it's interesting how you're remodeling this, and uh, I think you should tell everybody what you're going to do with this unique piece of your property. Yeah, so one of the things we're thinking about is, uh, you know, there's a national trend of uh, college students who are homeless, and right. we have uh, a Cal State campus just up the street, and so what we're thinking about is housing uh, homeless college students in this space. So you probably find them sleeping in their cars in different places here, and this would be an opportunity to actually provide facility for them. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's again, it goes back to that idea of success and thriving, and right. it's kind of hard to go to school when you're sleeping in your car and you don't know what you're going to eat at night. And so uh, we think that we can really develop a model here that others can, can replicate. So in our virtual mission tours, we've been showing you some of the unusual approaches our members are taking to serving hungry, homeless, abused, and addicted people. You saw San Fernando Valley Rescue Mission's Family Success Center. Uh, this is another one of their ministries, and it's not this church, but this is a very interesting church that's kind of related to where you're doing this ministry. Talk, talk about this church first so we're, of all. We're in North Hollywood, and this is St. Charles Borromeo Church, which was Bob Hope and his wife's uh, church. Wow. And one of, the gifts to the, one of their gifts to the community was is this beautiful hospitality center behind right us. over here yeah and we partnered with them for our, uh, our mobile shower unit. and you park over here and you're here how often we're here weekly 
Uh, we're at different spots throughout the week, but every Thursday oh, okay. is St. Charles. Okay. Yeah. Hi. I'm John. John, pleasure. All right. Absolutely a pleasure. And who's wearing a Yankees hat in uh, Dodgers oh. territory? Oh, Joyce. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a big risk, huh? Yeah. Hi, Joyce. Hi, nice Joyce. Nice to meet you, John. So how do I sign up for a shower? How does this work? Well, it's pretty simple. You come on board here. We have a little uh, sign-up sheet here. Alice provides... Hello, Alice. I've nice. been here for such a short time. Yes. How come? It doesn't take that long to get a shower. <laughs> and uh, you're giving out the towels, towels and you're giving and out the, the toilet kit and the socks so yeah. important dry socks yes yeah. yeah it does help so I would go in here. I see a beautiful shower. You go in here. You got a shower. You Take a sit. shower. Show us how it works. Well, I, I got to get my hygiene kit. <laughs> I got to get my hygiene kit. Thank you very much. And my towel. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm going to take a shower. And when I go in, you got to push the big blue button. That sets for eight minutes. That's how long I got. I, you got eight minutes. All right. All right. So I'm gonna pull this out here. There we go. Time's up. Come on. Okay, I'm out. Thanks. That was a great shower. It was an unbelievable shower. I, I just appreciate that. Thank you. Nice so. Well, thanks for showing me the mobile shower unit, yeah. and you were telling me that Scotty actually has another ministry in addition to serving the people who are coming for showers. Some of these people who come and volunteer are part of a small group. They don't know it's a small group, but but yeah. what's he do with them? Yeah. So what he's doing is what Christ what Christ does is bring bring us into community, and so he's brought this small group of guys who are out on the streets, and they. They are part of a small group. They just, again, they don't know it. They go out to lunch after the shower uh, sh shower operation. And they talk about? They talk about sobriety, relationship with God, just life in general. Well, thanks for letting me hang out here with you. I love what you're doing. Thank you. And uh, we'll come back and see you again sometime. Thanks.